and welcome. I'm Harriet Agbenyi. Tonight, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency raids the home of Ogun State Senator-elect Buruji Kashumi. The NDLEA places Buruji Kashumu under house arrest, sequel to a formal request for extradition received from the Embassy of the United States of America. Buruji Kashumu legal team says the NDLEA action is illegal and orchestrated by former President Chief Olusegun Obasanjo. And about 3,000 militia members in Iraq move against Islamic State militants after the fall of the city of Ramadi. And on business news tonight, now, Durham Equities Market All Share Index ends week in negative territory following volatile week on week trading. And on sports news, group phase matches ends as eight teams qualify for the quarterfinals of the Channel's National Kids Cup. We'll begin tonight in the commercial nerve center of the country, Lagos State, in Nigeria's southwest region, where a sting operation carried out by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, on the residents of Ogun State Senator-elect regarding issues bordering on drug smuggling is ongoing. The NDLEA, in the early hours of today, laid siege on the residence of Mr. Buruji Kashimu, which they say is sequel to a formal request for extradition received from the Embassy of the United States of America pending his arraignment before the Federal High Court on Monday, May 25th, on drug-related issues. The NDLEA subsequently placed the Ogun State Senator-elect under house arrest. Mr. Kashimu has been a target of both the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration, DEA, and Immigration and Customs Enforcement of the Department of Homeland Security for over 20 years and was indicted in the Northern District of Illinois, United States, on charges brought against him by the ICE. Meanwhile, Mr. Kashimu has described the NDLEA's action as a confirmation of the alleged plot to illegally abduct him in spite of the pending suit against him. In a phone interview with Channels Television, Counsel to the Ogun, State, Ogun Senator-elect, Mr. Ajibola Oluyede, said the NDLEA operatives broke down the wall of Mr. Kashimu's house to gain entry, and this appeared as a sort of a threat to his life. Well, I got here about uh, 6.30, 7 a.m. Apparently, the team of the armed NDLEA officials, maybe about 50 or more of them, uh, had surrounded the premises uh, from about 4 a.m. and um, uh, they were trying to get access to the building when I came in. Uh, subsequently, I watched as they broke the gate down and uh, began to break through the doors and windows to enter into the, uh, to the premises. Now, they've been able to agree you know, with us that Prince Kashamu is staying in his house until Monday. I can confirm from what the NBA uh, officers have told me that they actually see verbal instruction from the Attorney General. And they were acting on the basis of that brother's instructions. But that is not to say that he was claiming that was the judge in the United States. In the court, we have what called evidence that it is Chief of Assange who instigated the plan for his abduction. That has not changed. And what has happened here today has further established that there was a plan. For I'm not aware, I'm not aware that you know, the suicide. He might have threatened them that what they're doing will be threat to his life. You know, he might have complained about that because they were breaking down the doors, they were using all manner of weapons. So he might have complained that this is like you are, they're, they're trying to extinguish his life. But I don't think he was uh, 
In the meantime, the Attorney General of the Federation, Mr. Mohamed Adoke, says the arrest of Senator-elect Buruji Kashimu is not an extrajudicial action. Mr. Adoke told Channels Television today that a formal request has been made by the American government seeking his extradition and same has been passed to the appropriate legal body. He adds that due process and all legal proceedings will be pursued with respect to his extradition. In 1998, a U.S. federal grand jury charged Mr. Buruji Kashimu and 14 others for their alleged involvement in an international conspiracy to smuggle heroin into America. Mr. Kashimu denies any wrongdoing and says the American government is mistaking him for another person. In this next report, we take a look at the prominent politician's battle with alleged drug crimes in the last 17 years. Will we be able to deliver for 67-year-old Buruji Kashamu is a prominent politician in the People's Democratic Party. A staunch supporter of the outgoing president, Goodluck Jonathan, he won the senatorial election in Ogun East during the 2015 general elections. But in the midst of this success, Buruji Kashamu is wanted in the United States on alleged drug trafficking charges. But a PDP stalwart claims he was targeted in a case of mistaken identity. Rather than being the international drug smuggler known as Alaji, Buruji says he was actually a U.S. government informant who provided information about terrorist attacks on the United States before and after 9-11. Buruji was arrested in England in 1998 and detained for five years during extradition hearings. Ultimately, however, British courts let him go after ruling that Chicago prosecutors had tainted their eyewitness identification evidence by failing to disclose that one of his co-defendants failed to pick him out of a photo lineup. Kasham claims the real Alaji was his dead brother and that he has been mistakenly identified by everybody involved in the case. The U.S. government has argued that those claims are absurd given that the witnesses include his former American lover and her sister. The 67-year-old's claims has also been challenged here in Nigeria by former president Olusha Obasanjo. About a year ago, Obasanjo sent six incriminating documents to President Goodluck Jonathan and the leadership of the People's Democratic Party to support his claim that Mr. Kashamu is indeed wanted in the United States of America over a drug-related offense. The damning documents included court papers and proceedings as well as local and international newspaper clips on the allegation made against Mr. Kashamu. While Buruji Kashamu has remained free, 14 others involved in the case have long since been convicted, served prison time, and have been released. Well, it appears there's no end in sight in the struggle for who becomes the next Senate president. While a faction of the All Progressives Congress in the Senate has endorsed Senator Ahmed Lawan and Senator George Akume to be at the helm of affairs, another group under the aegis of like minds senators have endorsed Bukola Saraki to head the leadership of the Senate. Both groups insist their choice is based on competence and track records. The 8th National Assembly is about to commence sitting in the next few weeks, but the question of who assumes the head of the Senate has become the main issue. But the group of senators under the ages of Senate Unity Forum is conversing support for Senator Ahmed Lawan and Senator George Akume. We, the Senate Unity Forum, comprising senators elect from various states and various zones of Nigeria, have met had extensive discussions and resolved to support Senator Ahmed Lawan as Senate President and Senator George Akume as Deputy Senate President for the 8th Senate. Kindly take this to be our collective decision in the best interest of our party, the All Progressives Congress and our dear country, Nigeria. Soon afterwards, another group made up of 35 senators out of the 59 senators of the All Progressive Congress threw their support in favor of a different candidate, Senator Bukola Saraki. They give reasons for their action. The issue of the National Assembly leadership is about integrity, 
competence, discipline, and leadership skills are not about fixing of candidates just for mere horse trading. Our stand is about electing a senator who eventually becomes the chairman of the National Assembly and relates with the executive on behalf of Nigerians, fellow senators, and the National Assembly as an institution. To we, the undersigned senators elect of the All Progressives Congress APC, have resolved to adopt and by the grace of God will vote distinguished Senator Abubakar Bukola Salaki as our candidate for the Senate President of the Eighth Senate. The days ahead will tell which of the two candidates becomes the Senate president, as Nigerians look forward to legislative proceedings that will translate into tangible progress for the development of the nation. In part two, after the break, the scarcity of fuel across the country shows no sign of abating habits at the moment. Stay with us. Thank you.